Hey everyone, this is Dan with another episode of my TMV videos. The market has not been doing well since the beginning of this year. However, there's a way to make profit in spite of the bear market. In the last couple of months, I bought several batches of the ETF TMV, which is up 58% since the beginning of the year. TMV is pegged to the yields of the Treasury bonds with maturities of 20 years or more. Since interest rates will be going up for the rest of the year, I expect TMV to probably double in the next year. Let's get into the exciting details. I've been sharing some of my trades and some of the news events with my subscribers on Twitter as well as on YouTube. With Twitter, I pretty much have been updating my subscribers every two or three days or so. For example, on February 23rd, I tweeted that I bought TMV and TQQQ. In fact, after that, I've been selling and buying TQQQ several times already, and as well as SQQQ, which is the inverse of TQQQ. In the meanwhile, I sold a portion of the TMV I bought February 23rd for a small profit. For the rest of the shares that I'm still keeping, they are up 38% already. Certainly, that's pretty good performance. Then on March 17, I tweeted that I bought more TMV shares, and those shares are up 26% already. On April 13, I bought more TMV shares, then those shares are up 27% already because there was a dip, like an intraday dip on April 23rd. I took the opportunity to buy more TMV shares. So far, I've been very lucky with TMV, and it's not all just luck, it has to do with also some of the analyses I did. I published a video about a week ago about TMV. Now this is just an update of that video and I will talk about why I'm so confident that TMV will be a good investment for me in the next few months. If you think this is interesting, I'd like to encourage you to click the like, subscribe, and notification button so that you'll be notified when I publish my next video. It'll also encourage me to make more videos like this in the future. In the meanwhile, I'd like to inform you that I'm not a financial advisor. If you want to buy or sell stocks, you should make your own decisions and you should definitely consult with your financial advisors before you do so. Let's continue. We have a lot of interesting things to cover. This is a chart showing the progression of TMV and SPY as well as QQQ since January 1st of this year. On the chart, you can see that TMV went up by an impressive 58% already. Whereas SPY actually went down by about 7% year to date, and QQQ went down by more than 15% year to date. Definitely, the broad market has been bearish, but TMV has been shooting up. What is TMV? TMV is an exchange traded fund. It's created and supported by the Rexion, and is pegged to the 20 plus year treasury bounce. It's supposedly structured to approximate 300% of the performance of the ICE US Treasury 20 plus year bound index, but ignore the 300% because there's ETF leakage, which is a very important thing to know about. I will explain more about that later on. The gist of it is that when the 20 year rate goes up, TMV goes up. There's a flip side of TMV or the inverse of TMV, which is TMF, another ETF supported by Direxion. And when TMV goes up, then TMF goes down, usually by the same percentage, except one is positive, the other one is negative. I will later on also cover TMF a little bit. There's a piece of information that we need to be aware of as we consider interest rates and TMF and TMV. On March 17th, the Federal Reserve Banks announced that they approved the first interest rate hike in more than three years. And the Fed on that day raised the Fed funds rate by a quarter of a percentage point. The Fed also announced that they expected to be increasing the interest rate six times in the rest of 2022. And the reason why they're increasing interest rates is because they consider the inflation rate to be too high at this point. Actually, the inflation rate as of March 1st for all items exceed 8%, which is indeed very high, and we'll also talk about that in the next few minutes. 
So far, we already talked about TMV, the ETF which I expect to be going up in the next few months. Then we talk about a 20-year treasury rate, the Fed funds rate, and high inflation as measured by CPI. How are they related to each other? Generally speaking, because of the high inflation that compels the Fed to increase the Fed funds rate in order to control inflation or to bring down inflation. As the Fed increases the Fed funds rate, it causes all the other interest rates to go up, including a 20-year Treasury rate. And since TMV is designed to mimic the movement of the 20-year Treasury rate, or actually 20-year and above, then when the 20-year rate goes up, TMV goes up. So that's the relationship among these different elements. Let's look at how the CPI, the inflation rate, the Fed funds rate, and the 20-year Treasury rate interact with each other over the years. You might say, since we're talking about TMV, why don't we just plot the line for TMV? The only problem is that TMV has been in existence only since April of 2009. So if you want to plot TMV side by side with these three indicators, the line for TMV will start from here which is just a little short line. And that's why it's not easy to do a direct comparison between TMV and any one of the three indicators. And therefore, I'd rather look at these three indicators and see how they interact over the last 60 years. And then from there, we can see how is the 20 year rate related to TMV. And that's how we can tie everything together. Currently, the CPI is at 8.5%. If you look back in history, the last time the inflation rate was this high was between 1974 and around 1982-83. And actually, back in the 1960s, the inflation rate was pretty low, between 1 and 2 percent, like what we had pretty much in the last few years. And then it started to creep up. When it hit finally around 8, 8.5 percent inflation rate, that was around 1974. So if you look down at that time, and because the inflation was creeping up, the Fed was gradually raising interest rate to try and bring down the inflation rate. Because the Fed funds rate was increasing, the 20-year Treasury rate was also climbing. And as of 1974, when CPI was about 8%, 20-year Treasury rate went up to about 7% at that time. And then if you look at the Fed's funds rate today, it's only 0.33 of a percent. But back then, the Fed funds rate was already at 10%. And that's why a lot of people feel that the Fed is already behind its curve of trying to increase interest rate to control inflation. Actually, a lot of people feel that the Fed should have started raising rate probably more than a year ago. And then if you look at the 20-year Treasury rate, currently it's only at 3.09%. And back then, it was already 7%. Back in the 1970s and 1980s, as the Fed continued to increase interest rate to control inflation, the Fed funds rate went as high as 21.22% and the 20-year rate went as high as 15.78%. It is therefore reasonable to assume that the 20-year rate will go up from the current 3% to at least 6 to 7% before inflation is brought under control. That means the 20-year rate will more than double from today's level. That brings us to the next chart. Just for this year, in the beginning of the year, the 20-year rate was at 2.05%. And as of last Friday market closing, the 20-year Treasury rate was 3.09%. That means the Treasury rate, 20-year Treasury rate increased by 50.73%. During the same period, TMV went up by 83%. So if the 20 year rate is going to increase another 100% from now, then it will be very reasonable to assume that TMV will go up maybe 160% or more. One thing we need to be aware of is that TMV, like many leveraged ETFs, has significant leakage. What do I mean by leakage? For example, if you look at the 20-year rate of 2.74%, it happened at least 20 times since 2012. For example, April 19, 2012, the 20-year rate was at 2.74, and then March 24, 2017, it was back to 2.74 again, and then 
the more recent occurrence of this rate was April 5th, 2022. It was back to 2.74 again. In the meanwhile, if you look at the value of TMV, it started out at $702.10, and then it's been coming down gradually, even though the 20-year rate is the same. It might go up and down, but it continue to hit back to this 2.74 level. In the meanwhile, TMV has been going down. The reason why it's leakage, because it costs money, and there's cost to buy and sell the financial instruments to support the TMV ETF. And that's why typical to a highly leveraged ETF like this, there's leakage. When I calculate what's the equivalent of annual loss of TMV, it turned out, for example, for this one between April 19 and April 26, with a declining value, it'll be equivalent to the annual loss of 23.5%. And then between April 2012 and February 7, 2017, with this decline, it will be the equivalent annual loss of 20.8%. And if you look down all these lines, you can see that the annual loss average out to be about 19 to 20%. And that's pretty substantial. That means if even if the 20 year rate doesn't move, it goes along a straight line, flat line from now on, you don't want to be holding TMV for the long term because every year you lose 20% of your value. However, when the 20 year rate is going up as fast as what it's been doing, for example, just in a matter of four months, it already went up 50%. The 20% loss per year basically is more than canceled out by the appreciation or the increase in the 20 year rate or the increase in the value of TMV. There's a cash though. What if later on for a short period of time or maybe for several months, the 20 year rate starts to decline? Then it's going to hurt if you hold TMV. For example, during 2019, pretty much overall, the 20 year rate was trending downward. It went from 2.83% to 2.25%. Throughout the year, the 20 year rate went through a 24% decline. And in the same period of time, TMV went down by 33%. So the decline of TMV was actually faster than the 20 year rate. In the meanwhile, remember there's an inverse twin of TMV, TMF. Had you bought TMF on January 2nd, 2019 and sold it at the end of the year, you will gain 32.63%. And that's why it's important when you are buying or selling TMV that you should, if the market reverses direction, especially the the 20 year rate starts going down, then you should sell TMV quickly and switch into TMF or just get out of TMV completely and wait for the market to pick back up again. And it's in, timing is a key when you start buying and selling leveraged ETFs like TMV and TMF. And you don't ever want to hold these for several years at a time. You want to hold them hopefully during a time you're absolutely sure that it will move in the direction that you think it's going to move. And if your prediction is correct, you will make a lot of profit, but if the reality turns out to be opposite of what you're predicting, you can be losing money quickly. I need to caution you about that. Again, if you like what you've seen so far, I'd like to suggest that you click the like, subscribe, and notification button. As usual, I welcome your comments, questions, and suggestions. This about wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments. Mm -hmm.